try to do that. He will be making his eighth open of the season, 39th overall appearance, and becomes one of those guys full time. And there's a really sharp slider that begins the ball game, and there's out number one. It started too early. Diego Castillo buries Jed Lowry, and it's a one, two, three inning. He has been extremely sharp, and like we said in the open, manipulates the strike zone. You know. And he got one there. Way back and way gone. It's the home run ball again we talked about in the open. Rays are slugging in September. They tried to go with the pitch. Middle of the plate, middle down. Like we said, that is the danger area. You stay out of there with C.J. Crone at the plate. This is the result. So the last two days, that's seven runs on the home run ball. Plus 25 plus potential. Potential double play ball. Adamas, Lau, getting over. It's lined into a double play as Adonis went the wrong way. He thought that was through. And this should end the inning. Simeon, and that'll do it. And the Rays waste a great opportunity. Good slider by Kittredge, and he is retired. Here's Fires. And that time, the fastball up was chased by C.J. Crone. We talked about it in his first at bat. And Kiermaier down on strikes. That's the best curveball Fires has thrown today. Maybe it. The curveball to the lefties right now because he can drop it. And he dropped that one way back and gone for Willie Adamas on a high fastball. And it's 3-0 Rays. Maybe he should have gone to the curve. Willie Adamas with the long blast. Well, he got the hit out on that fastball, too. Yeah, dude, like he was sitting on it. T-Mobile built for baseball right there, built for a three-run lead. Almost like he was banking on the fact, okay, he wanted me to chase off speed below the zone. He's going to climb the ladder mm -hmm. again. I'm going to beat him to the spot. Smart. Choi got into this one. Martini going back, and he reaches up and makes the grab. Took away an extra base hit from G-Man Joy. And there's two down here in the fifth. Well, that was well done. Well struck and a little backhand. Slice the other way. Long run, Jake Bowers. Dives and makes the play! This is a guy who has predominantly played first base. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Jamie Schultz and the Rays. What a play by Bowers. Schultz strikes out Davis today. And the Rays pitching has been on point all day. Line drive down the right field line. Yeah. That's a fair ball for Lau. So the two-out walk leads to one run. Carlos Gomez will be waved around third. Here's Lowry coming home, not in time. Must have had his applesauce today again. Well, middle of the plate down, meant to be away. Whatever it was, keep it up. You shoot that ball down to the corner, this is why you pinch run. You get Gomez in there, he's going to score easily ahead of the throw. And the Rays have taken command of this ball game. So now we'll see Adam Kolarik instead of Jose Alvarado start to get loose because... There is a ground ball possibility for two. Lau, Adamas, there's two. The little option pitch right on the money. Not easy to make. And right there behind him, a little pitch. This right here is sweet. Must have been a quarterback in the wishbone. Yes. <laughs> what a feed. Infield comes in. Simeon will come home. And the obvious record is Adamas. 111 ribbies. 
And he hits this one high in the air and fairly deep to left. Smith going back, and it's a one-run game. Got a hanging slider for homer number 43. And just like that, this becomes a very scary ninth inning. Down and away with the slider, but you see it never gets there. Never gets there. That front hit opens up. You see him go to lift, and he's able to swipe that ball right out to left hundred. Popped him up. This should do it. Kiermaier. Race win. Five for the final. The grand slam by Davis in the ninth, not enough. And the Rays have a winning campaign and are indeed 16 over 500 for the first time under Kevin Cash.